Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and an image of a mesh that we will we try to recreate within uh, Autodesk Fusion and this is from a reddit question about how we would make this and it's really easy when we look at this, oh the faces here, we need to make one face and then pattern it around and do some other way of a pattern down here and stuff like that let's slow down and look at geometry if you look at it if you like squint your eyes you might see this very apparent prismatic shape we have like uh, we're coming down here we get a flat part and we're coming down here okay 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 we have something to look at let's think of this let's cut off a part of it and forget about the stuff down here what do we have here we have close to a cone in this case but like a triangle of faces on and triangular faces in a cone shape we can very easily do with extrude with taper angle so okay we have something to go on move us there and if we think about this edge here are well, we going to do it in red that's easier to see sorry so we have like this inner folded edge here that goes down this point we have the same edge here and the same here uh, so we have like one cone body on the top here and we have a second one rotated 180 degree and then slightly rotated the side depending on how many of these uh, triangular shapes we do. So that's my design intent. And of course we have one more thing, it's a bit lower down here. This, the distance here is larger than the one here, but that is easy to fix. So that is the design intent i'm going to use extrude with taper angle and then do a rotation here what i think of this is i'm going to use infusion is combine intersect intersections of two bodies can be sometimes a bit hard to see but this is going to be obvious when we start doing design let's jump into fusion hello fusion i have made a save always start by saving so let's start create a sketch Click on my icon for create a sketch. We're going to do it on the top plane. So click like this. We see the top over here. I'm going to start with a circle. This is just something to get uh, some geometry that I can dimension. I want to make all my sketches. I'm going to switch over to construction geometry over here in the sketch palette. Going to make a circle. Uh, this gives me approximation of a dimension. So like, let's make that 100. So let's open up our browser. Look, we have a fully defined sketch so far. We see a little red lock. Now we can move around. So let's keep on working. Uh, look at the image. We have these triangular shapes. Of course, I don't want to sketch all of the triangles. So I have to spend all day doing that. So I'm going to use pattern in sketch. We normally avoid pattern in sketch, but I need the full profile here. I can't extrude taper one single part of this. Oh, let's go back. Sorry, image. I can't like do only one. We can think at least if I do this triangular shape here, I can do one section here. I can extrude that. But if I do taper, I taper all sides. I need the full profile. I hope you understand me now. Let's do a line. Still construction geometry. We're going to do two lines. It's just place rollers for now gonna make one line in the middle try to get the horizontal constraints this is gonna be the center of can keep on your lines let's do this line and this line so you can start seeing the triangular shape these two lines here holding down control select them both of them turn them into normal lines like that those two I will use a very easy way to create the symmetry we could use symmetric constraints i don't like that one so we're simply going to do an equal between these two lines and when we do that escape you can see if i drag one side they are moving in symmetry due to the center line that's constrained horizontally here that geometry geometry is always geometry so let's decide uh, in this image here there's 18 if i count it correctly of these uh, triangular shape so I'm going to do D for dimension and dimension the angle between these two lines and that of course can be 360 degrees full revolution divided by 18 so we have like one two here hit escape so now the thing is I need to decide how far out this go now so I could use a dimension from here to here but I think I'm going to do an angle here too Start simply, I'm going to do 60 degrees, so this is basically an equilateral triangle here. So, we have made one of these. Normally, we avoid pattern in sketch, but I need this full profile. 
So I'm going to hit S on the keyboard to find the circular pattern. I can start typing circular pattern. We have two circular patterns. You can see one where the blue dots are more filled in. That is for feature and bodies. And we have one with more open circles. You see that no center. This is for a sketch circular pattern. So you're going to select that. What do I want to pattern? I want to pattern these two. Center point is, of course, going to be our center point here. And handbow quantities, the angular base was 18. So we're going to do the same here. Later in this design, we're going to go back and try to make this number parametric. Not for now. You're just going to make the design first of all. So we have created a profile. We have a blue profile. We are pleased. We're going to finish sketch. And now we're going to do an extrude. You have extrude in the menu here, or you have a shortcut. That's E on the keyboard. So let's decide about a, a hive. What I'm doing now, let's go back to the image. I'm creating the sketch plane is in the middle of things here. So I'm going to upwards. So the circle I have done is like a base dimension plus this. So this gives me a possibility to change the size of the design later. So let's do this. Uh, I had a 60. Let's do this uh, 75 millimeters for now. So you can see I'm doing this straight up. That doesn't look correct. So we need to give this a taper angle and we're going to taper inwards. So we're going to minus 15. Might be a bit too much. Let, let's start there. So I'm going to hit OK. And as I said, I now made half of this. So I need to do, let's go with image. I want to make the rest of the part down here. I want the cone to go all the way down to like the base down here. The plane is down here. I don't care about that. I want to make it simple when design. So I'm designing it symmetrically. So what I need to do, I need to extend out this face. So I'm going to do S on the keyboard and find offset face. You can find it in the menus too. I just prefer using the search menu or the design shortcut menu. Offset face. This here. I'm going to use the same number as extrude of a 75. We're going to go back and make this more parametric later. I'm going to hit OK. And we have made like half our cone. So now the problem is we need to make a second body. We could use copy and move and rotate 100 degrees and rotate it over like half of this dimension. As I said earlier, let's go back here. We need to rotate this not a full because then this line here and this line here. If I rotate the full, this line here and this line will line up and that will not look like what we want. We want like a half uh, fold separation. So we can do two ways here. We can do that or we can do a bit of a trick. Let's edit our first sketch. We're going to add a line because I want to use a circular pattern. Let's edit our sketch here. If you think about it, this here is the outer point. This is the inner point. We don't want to rotate the two body of the body we're down so far. We're going to create a second body. We don't want to rotate it around this point because then these two would align. We don't want to do it around this point because then, yes, the points will align once again. We want to rotate it around a line that's in between these. So this time I'm going to use a symmetry constraint. The constraint I said I doesn't use that often. In this case, it's very useful. Constraint, symmetry, select our two construction lines, and then in the end, the center line here. That fusion thing for a while. So this line here will now always stay centered between these two lines. Gonna finish sketch. Hit S on the keyboard. We once again gonna circle a pattern. This time we have a blue one because we're outside of a sketch. Circle a pattern. We're gonna make circular pattern of bodies. Yes, this body. And now I want to find this line in here. So I'm gonna select axis. You can sometimes find the line here. If you're probably seeing things, open up, hide the body, and it's a bit, bit easier to see. And normally Fusion wants to be free of everything. We don't want that. We want two of this body. Gonna hit OK. And of course, I turn off visibility, so I need to turn on the visibility, my two bodies again. And we have these strange bodies, and we can see now how this edge here, the outer edge, aligns with the inner edge of the bottom body. Yes, please. Going to do combine. Select our two bodies, and Fusion normally thinks we're going to do a join, as you do quite often, or we do a cut, but in this case, we're going to do an intersection. Going to hit OK, hide the sketch. 
and we have created the base shape of what we needed. So let's have a look at the image again. The top here was a bit further down. So just once again, use offset face. Select this face and do it minus 30, something like that. And if we now done everything correctly, everything is flat faces, we should be able to use the shell command if we want to shell it. Uh, so let's do it one millimeter like that and we have made a shell body if we're going to print this in vase mode we didn't need to do that so let's see now uh, we have made this can we change our parameters can we change the design let's open up our change parameter you find it on a modify down here with a fx symbol get the design up is quite empty now everything is here but you need to open up things in our first sketch we set diameter can we change that Yes, we can. Uh, let's see here. Now we are 18 two times. This is the count for, uh, there's a pattern count here. We can see that. We use the same here. I want to change only one number. If I change it in one place, then I need to change the second number. The model will break. So I want to edit this here. I'm going to move in and delete 18. And instead, I'm going to use the name of a parameter, D4. That means I should be able to change this to 20. Or I can change it to 15. So we can change it back and forth. You can see the sketch just gets slightly highlighted. Uh, I think 16 is good. We have one more angle dimension. This here is the angle of the triangle. If we make that a 90 degree angle, you can see how the design changes. The uh, it opens up a bit more. We can make it the other way around and we get a more oh, constricted, what do we call it? More angle inwards. Uh, let's do that 60. We can also do the same. We can go down here. We're going to open up to here. Uh, I did an extrude of 75 and we did the offset face. It's also 75. So I only want one dimension to change. I'm going to change this here to D, oh, sorry, D6. That means I can change this number to 80 or to 60. Of course, I can't change it too much because I have a second offset face further down the pattern here. Don't want to touch that. No, I don't want to touch that. I don't. This is the offset plane here. I can change. I can do this minus 40. And you can see I can change my model. If we nice and easily make a good model with good steps nice and easy we can go back and forth and change things and as i said a uh, small trick uh, with the circular pattern with a line you can of course do also do with two move commands remember if we use the move command let's have a look at that move command oh come on don't move around m on the keyboard you have a first type because free move is very easy to think you want to use that you don't want to use that that's not parametric what you want to do is uh, translate or rotate in this case rotate first rotate the body uh, 180 degrees and then do a second rotate and rotate it enough around to line up there's another way of doing it so and there was most probably more ways of doing this body you wanted to play around with that said take care See you around and goodbye.